Yo, fam, there's no single woman over 30 who's happy being single, eh, dog? Like, no matter how you pretend to be, deep down you want a man or a bitch, fam. How you feel about that, Crody? I feel like that's, like, 85% true. But I also feel like a lot of girls that are in relationships are unhappy. Do you feel like if you were single right now, you'd be lonely? Say that again. Do you feel if you were single right now, and I don't know if you are or aren't, I'm just saying, if you feel if you were single, do you feel like you'll be lonely right now? No. I never feel like I'm lonely. But you feel women, though. You feel like a woman over 30 might feel lonely after like you know seeing her people have kids people get married imagine that imagine that a girl women get women are emotional creatures bro they, whether 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 they say it or not yes they 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 don't want to be single women want to be in a relationship women want the fucking a man to marry them breed them they like that's what they want any woman that says that they don't is a motherfucking liar Shout out Max Sando in the cut. Um, yeah. But I think that's for men too. I don't think that's just women. No, I think men want to have their cake and eat it too. It's a little bit different. No, not I think not, not every man wants to be in, in, in like a committed, like, I don't think every man wants to have a girl. I don't think that's true. I, I think, that's think true, fam. No, it's not. Because, fam, like, as much as men stay single or they be they're doing their thing for a minute, fam. There's always a part where it's just like fam, like maybe the roster is death, dog. Nah, like fuck, I need a little Oz, fam. And they go and find that, and that that Oz becomes a five year situation. Like you know what I'm saying? Like men don't want to be single over thirty either. And talking about the age part, maybe under thirty, you want to go on easy, do your thing, blah blah blah, right today. But like over thirty, pushing forty, nah, like, you don't. I think, want to be I think men. I think men from the age of like 26 to like 35, depending if they, ha I think they want to be single, fam. I think they want to do their thing, especially if they don't have kids. You know what I'm saying? They want to live their life and just kind of like go on easy. Because it's like, you don't want something to bring you down per se. You want to kind of like continuously like live your life, have fun. Make your money, go out with your brethren, do your thing. Where the gal them deal more, kind of want to chill, you know what I'm saying? Settle down, have something. I don't think like a lot of men in their 30s per se want to do that. Now, when your life is a little bit more settled, like I think it's a, I, I honestly, I think it's, I, I think it's the success of what your age is. Mm. If you're super successful at a young age, you're going to want to settle down. You're going to want to have a family so you can, like, spread on your, your livings and certain things, blah, blah, blah. Actually, no, fam. Fuck. I think you're going to... If, I think if you're successful young, I think you're going to want to turn up. I think it's a... Yeah. I think if you're successful young, you're going to want to turn up. And if you're not, you're going to want to, like, fucking settle down and read up things... So you can, like, maybe it's the hood mentality. I don't know. <laughs> but, like, yeah, I'm saying, it's just like, yo, I'm just going to breed up things and, like, yeah, I'm saying, I'm going to have my legacy just live on kind of thing. I don't know, so. Hey, I don't know. But I don't think men, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't see men really trying to settle down in their, like, 25s, 30, 35s, like that, unless they're already in a relationship. I don't know, so. A question though, I think I can the question though. Um, but yeah, to say that there's no single woman over 30 who's happy is, is kind of crazy or happy being single. So, if you were single right now, you would fucking you'd be lonely, like, but it goes back to what you're saying, it depends on where I'm at. The success is like if I'm but if I'm like in is if if I'm just making money and just by myself, you know what I'm saying? I think. I don't think I could ever feel lonely because if I had money, I can buy a pussy. Keep in mind, keep in mind, you already have kids. Even that, 
that's more time for my children. Grand, so, grandkids too. Yeah. yeah you know yeah. what I'm saying? Total, yeah. total, total, I, I really think it's where you are in life. It is. <clears throat> So if, I, if if you're 30 years old, if you're a woman 30 years old and your life is not too much to get, your life is not together and you don't have kids. That's different. Yes. That's a little bit different. Well, maybe yeah. no, no, even if they have kids too, because I, what if their kids are like 15, 14, like they're doing their, they'll feel lonely still. They'll feel, they'll feel kind of lonely. Even 10 years old, they're more, they're not dependent on their mom. They'll feel lonely in a sense where they don't have that love, but my nigga, you still have a kid to take care of. Now, if your kid is eighteen, if your kid is eighteen, nineteen, that's totally different. But from fucking zero to seventeen, fam, you have you t- and on too. But like, fuck, from 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 when you're you to seventeen uh, until you're you seventeen, sorry, like that's still you still got to take care of your kid. You can that's- have time to yourself, yes, as they grow up and as they do your stuff. And obviously, you probably want like you know what I'm saying they got them probably want their thing rubbed out a one two times. But like, mm-hmm. fuck. Okay. Lifestyles in previous generations, uncles, aunts, parents together, etc., usually determines your relationship. I think that's I think that's facts too. I think I think because of me seeing like like my mom and dad were married. Huh? You know what I'm saying? Like, like they were married before they had me. Mm. So it's like I seen growing up like a, a real family sort of I also seen the fuckery of it. I seen the bad parts of it too. But, mm-hmm. like, I just seen that. So, with me, I kind of understood how relationships kind of should be or, like, you know what I'm saying? I kind of wanted to be a relationship you. Mm-hmm. Now, yeah. as times were done and I realized girls were fucked up, I mm-hmm. wanted to be by myself. Right? I, I just like being by myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't like people. I don't like humans. Humans are weird. They're weird individuals. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. but I think, yeah, what, what what my boy said is very, very true. Yeah, I think so too because I even me growing up, my my, my stepfather they were married, right? They had um, I was born out of wedlock, but like when they got married, they had their two kids, and that's all I seen growing up was them two in a relationship. I've also in my mind, relationship was a thing. You know what I'm saying? It says okay, yeah. together is something. I think if it was a more if I was raised in a more single parent setting, I would think that it's okay to be single and. I don't need somebody. Fuck. It's crazy still. So, crazy when you think of But yeah, man. Yeah. Shout out to the single 30-year-olds, though, man. Live your life, bro. Enjoy your life. There's so much life to live, bro. Yeah, travel. Travel, <laughs> explore. You do not want to go settle down either. If you don't have to settle down, bro. Don't, I think that's another problem, too. People rush to settle down. Yeah. Like it, it like live your life. Don't rush relationships. I hate people that rush into relationships or just, you know. That's why a lot of girls are fucking bitter and get into fucking relationships with people that they don't even know who the fuck they are. Because they're mm-hmm. just rushing into shit. Stop rushing into shit. Learn who the fuck you're fucking. 